Hey guys, today I have a continuation of the backstroke start video I posted last week. This video is going to help with leveling off underwater for better speed. If you haven't watched last week's video on the basic steps to learn a backstroke start, I recommend you watch that first. As you can see, my sister Anna is going to be my model for this video. I pulled my bicep muscles so I can barely move my arm and definitely can't straighten it. Anna saves the day, yay! Alright, now let's get started. If you've seen my regular start progression video before, as you enter the water you push your hips forward in order to level off instead of going straight down. The same is true for a backstroke start, but instead of pushing your hips forward, you'll need to do the opposite by pushing your hips back. Before you get in the water, make sure you practice this position on deck a couple different ways to help you get a feel for the motion. First, you lay flat on your back in a streamlined position and practice raising your shoulders and legs off at the same time to mimic the same movement underwater to level off. Only lift up enough to create a nice curved shape and imagine a smooth upgrade to the surface. The more you raise your shoulders and legs it will result in getting to the surface quicker and at a very not smooth angle. For the second step, you're going to stand on deck in a streamlined position. Using a partner to help you not fall backwards, reach back until you can't go any further, mimicking the diving position. Then tighten and pull your core muscles in to stand back up and slightly leaning forward. This is the same motion we just did while laying on the floor, except standing up gives you the opportunity to arch back for a more accurate representation of what you'll be doing in the water. If you lean too far forward and just bend over, you'll also be doing the same incorrect motion that will cause you to shoot up to the surface too fast. Now we're going to get in the water and do this with a start. Arch into the water with a good start and then use the level off techniques you did on the deck right after you enter the water for a smooth breakout. Experiment with how long you glide before leveling off. The ideal depth would be to do 4-6 to six strong dolphin kicks while gradually making your way up to the surface. For example, if you push your hips back too much, you'll reach the surface way too fast and at a very awkward angle to break out and begin swimming smoothly. This example correctly matches with the same example I showed you on deck, with your hips going straight down and your streamline pointing straight up. The opposite would be if you wait too long before pushing your hips back, causing you to be so deep and end up struggling up to the surface, which creates a lot of drag and uses up your energy for the remainder of your race. As you get more used to the leveling off technique along with strong dolphin kicks, you can practice going a little deeper to get in a few more kicks. Just remember that you can't go past 15 meters underwater or you'll be disqualified. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below if this video helps your backstroke race. Also give this video a big thumbs up if it did and subscribe to see more videos. Bye!